What's going on guys, Flick here and welcome back to another episode of Landon Donman's Road to the US Men's National Team. First off, I want to thank you guys once again for the support you have been leaving on this series. The last episode is once again on over 100 likes and you guys really seem to be enjoying that series so I'm really happy about that and I've been thinking about uploading this series twice a week rather than just once a week. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. But if you guys have forgotten what the team looks like, this is what we've currently got to work with. Work on our way up to that rare bronze stage. Still got a couple of non-rare bronzes in the team. But we haven't had the best of luck of finding opponents near our skill level, so hopefully that'll change a little bit in this episode. If you guys do go on to enjoy this episode, don't forget to leave a rating down below. But let's jump right to the matches for today. Hopping right into our first match, my opponent was rocking a Liga MX side. A couple of good players mixed in there. Marquez, Corona, as well as Uche with the pace. So we need to watch out with that with our bronze defense. But some good passing right from the get-go. Gooch gets an opportunity. Unfortunately, Corona able to make the save. And here Donovan on the ball trying to get a long shot from outside the box. Good save, though, again by Corona. We still haven't hit a good long shot with Donovan. I do want to do that before that series is over. Here, Acosta, some good work. Gets inside the box, but chooses to play outside to Kiesvetter. He gets the ball back to Acosta. And again, some little LTRT dribbling. Manages to win the ball back a couple of times, but hits the post. And once again, Acosta gets a chance, but Corona makes an incredible save. Bit of a scramble inside the box, and my opponent was lucky not to concede right there. But jumping into the second half now, Donovan gets a chance. Nice little dummy to create some space, and a great finish there on the near post. That's the thing about these legend cards, is that they can make the finishes that not all the gold players can, and that's the reason you pay the big price tag for them. But here late in the game, the 75th minute, my opponent gets a good chance, but Acosta stepping up big in this match. Clears the ball off the line here. A dumb decision by my opponent to slide attack my defender from behind. Of course, that is going to be a red card. No idea why I did that. The match was clearly going to come to an end. And that means he's going to have to set out his next match. But we win this one 1-0. One Definitely dominating in the shots. And Landon Donovan getting the only goal, which means we're going to be able to get a couple of upgrades before our next game. So for winning that game 1-0 and Donovan getting the only goal, we're going to be able to upgrade two positions before our next match. And once again, we're going to upgrade our left mid. We've had a little bit of difficulty downgrading this guy. Uh, so we will put Ariyibi back into the team. And then we're also going to be upgrading the opposite player. And it's going to be Kisavetter getting an upgrade into Gaul. He's got a bit more pace than Kisavetter. So that should add a little bit more speed to our wingers and hopefully create for some more goals. The team's looking bright and shiny. Let's hop right into the next match. Match number two featured a slightly higher rated side with lower chemistry. Some good players mixed in there. Inform Didavi, Bakali, as well as Bachuai. And it was Bachuai who started things off for him. Good run made and a good through ball. Cuts inside right here. Thought I defended this pretty well. It's a fantastic long shot by the Belgian striker, and there's not much I can say about that one. You can't discredit a good goal when you concede one, and that was certainly a fantastic long shot. We'll see a brief replay right here. He just cuts inside, takes a touch, and has a go with that left foot, and there's no way Perk is going to be able to save that one. But we look to tie things up here as Jameson applies the pressure, and he does pass back to his keeper, chooses to go out with his keeper. Donovan applying a little bit of pressure, and I had him nervous here. And again, he's trying to pass the ball on the back. Jameson picks it up, finds Donovan, and Donovan's not going to miss from there. His finesse shot is so deadly, and there's no way he is going to miss that kind of opportunity. We tied up 1-1, and the game was back on again. Here's the pressure that this guy applied. He was a very attacking-minded player. Perk luckily made a good save for us there on the near post. And here we try to find Donovan. His defender intercepts it, but Donovan's quick enough to get to that defender. And once again, it's just going to be a finesse shot. Getting it by Claudio Bravo and making it 2-1 for us in the 20th minute. Landon Donovan once again stepping up big. And, you know, he's a very intriguing player. Doesn't have that four-star skill moves, but he is the perfect center forward or striker, in my opinion. He's quick, he's got good dribbling and good passing. And legends just do things that normally goal players can't and here's Gooch our bronze legend able to find Gull here on the right side he gets his debut match and he gets a miss like that one you got to put that one away even for a young player like him you got to be able to put away those kind of chances when you're through on goal unfortunately the game was still two to one and Didavi gets through right here the inform card manages to hit that one on the far post and it's tied up once again in the 37th minute a little bit of lag right here but we're gonna push on this time it's gonna be Gooch gets a little bit of space here sees Donovan making the run and it was a perfect pass and a perfect finish by Landon Donovan once again we get the lead and this team is just gelling it so well together 
together. Even for bronze players, they're able to make some fantastic passes. And it looked like we were through on goal once again, but we get a disconnect, which was a bit unfortunate. I felt like this was going to be a pretty good game, but we still get the win 3-2 to two, and a couple of goals there from Donovan. I believe he got all three of them, so that means we're going to get quite a few upgrades for our next match. Because that match did end a bit prematurely, I'm going to tack one upgrade on for the disconnect. I think we could have gotten a lot more chances throughout that game. Uh, so to take place for those potential upgrades, I'm going to get one extra upgrade on this match. And also, we won that game by one goal, Donovan assisting to three of the goals. So we're going to get four upgrades total, which will complete our rare bronze team. Starting with the left back position, we're going to upgrade Klute all the way over to Remick. Get some Sounders pride in there. And that's going to be our second Sounders player for this series. We're also going to upgrade Palmer Brown, who has been quite the service for this team. He's played just great for us, but Watts is going to have to do very solid stats. 64 defending and 64 physical, and he looks pretty good in the back. So our back line is really looking nice, especially when we finish our right back position. Upgrading to Jimenez, not quite 80 pace, but he will do just fine until we get into the silver stage. And finally, we're going to upgrade the legend. That was Gooch. I hope we can get him into the team somehow. Maybe at the end of the series, I'll make like a super team with some of my favorite players. Uh, but we're going to upgrade to another American player playing in England. It's going to be Emerson Hindman. With our full rare bronze team, I'm feeling good going to this next match. Let's get a win to end off the episode. For our final match of the episode, we will once again be coming up against a Liga MX side. This one's slightly better. He's got Inforb Gignac there at the center attacking mid. And we got to watch out for him. He's got some good shooting stats. And speaking of shooting stats, here's Acosta outside the box. Nearly bangs that one in, and it goes off the crossbar. But we pick it right back up. Find Heinemann in the middle. A couple of good fake shots and precise dribbling. And tenacity to get the ball back. Finish it in the top net. And he gets his debut goal. Good stuff by Emerson Heinemann. I think he's a nice little upgrade from Gooch. A bit quicker, and he's got some good passing stats as well. Should fit into the team very nicely until we get to the silver stage. And again, he's showcasing his passing right there. And Donovan makes that kind of finish. I wasn't expecting to get even close. But that's the kind of thing legends can do. They just do things that normal goal players can't. And that's perfectly showcases it right there. Once again, we get the ball to Donovan. We know who our special player is. He does a couple of good fake shots to beat the defenders. And finishes on the near post with these. Things were just coasting in the first half. There you can see six shots, six on target compared to my opponent's zero. Whenever you see those kind of stats, you know things are going your way. But the second half was a bit of a different story. Gainiac starts things off with a bang. Spectacular goal. Wasn't going to discredit that one at all. And that was him just showcasing his shooting. He just turned and got a lot of curve on that ball. Uh, Perk was rooted to the spot. And my opponent applied the pressure in the second half. It was almost as if another person was playing, which very well could have been the case. Because compared to the zero shots in the first half, he was getting several in the second half. We try to get the three-goal cushion back. Donovan unfortunately hits the post, and Jameis in the fourth, unable to break him down inside the box. Here's Gagnac once again, laying it off to Villalva, and he's going to get by a couple of defenders. I just couldn't seem to get the ball off this guy. It was, it was almost as if the game was allowing him to get by. I'm not going to blame it on the game, but tackles that were working in the first half were not working in the second half. Here once again, I felt like I had that covered. Of course, he's going to finish on the near post, and it's very embarrassing to give up three goals after having a 3-0 cushion going to halftime. Can't blame anyone but myself. And all we can do is try to learn from that and try to change our defensive performance in future games. That's the thing about these early stages for this series. We're going to come up against some tougher teams later on. That's for sure. But we're going to have better teams and hopefully we'll be able to learn from our mistakes. And there he gets the lead, unfortunately, as we get into extra time. Things were not looking good. He definitely had the momentum and it was starting to frustrate me. And once again, we make the tackle. Falls once again to Gignac. He turns. He shoots. It's 5-3. Just before the second period of extra time, he makes it 5-3 with Gignac, who is a clutch player for him. We're trying to bring the game back with a nice bit of passing. Gull missed in the last match, but he's going to put that one away. Good finish by him. The game was still on 5-4. We get one final opportunity here in the 117th minute. I was looking for Donovan to make that run. Saw the run, but it was just a little bit too much mustard on that pass. The match ends at 5-4. A spectacular game with lots of highlights. Unfortunately, we did not end up on the winning end of things. I'm going to be honest with you guys. That was one of the craziest matches I've seen in FIFA 16. That guy just completely turned the game around. And props to him. He really came back and dominated me in that second half. But anyways, we're going to have to downgrade our player that got the lowest match rating, which was our left back. After only one match, Remick, you're going to be getting out of the team. We're going to get Clute back into the team. 
Uh, so this will be the team going into our next episode, which means we should be able to get into the silver side at least some point in the next episode. So if you guys want to leave any player suggestions for American silver players, go ahead and do that in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video. And until the next episode of Landon Donovan's Road to the U.S. Men's National Team, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.